What's up guys, I'm here with Mario Tomic, he's a health and fitness expert and also a personal development coach. So today I'm going to interview him. I'm interviewing you by the way, I'm holding the microphone. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so me and Mario, we have something in common, we basically don't have sponsors, we, and there are probably a, a reason behind this. So Mario, why don't you have sponsors? What's your main reason behind that? Thanks for having me, man. Uh, pleasure being here in London and meeting up with you. Uh, really, you really awesome. Pleasure. I'm very honored. And um, yeah, it's a really good question. Why don't I have sponsors is because I value freedom above all, right? One of the first things that I told myself when I basically went into starting my own business and becoming an entrepreneur, becoming a YouTuber in, in one sense and an online coach is that I don't like to have a boss or someone tell me what I need to do, right? Because if you're you. sponsored, you're sort of biased, you know, whether you like it or not, maybe the company that you're sponsored by is an awesome company and there are pretty good companies out there that I do recommend from time to time. Camera equipment, supplements, things like that, but I don't want to be the one that is, um, let's say, limited in my recommendations to who I can vouch for. And that's the main reason. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we can... Um, did, did you ever have any sponsorships before or no? No, I, I flat out declined all the sponsorship deals that I had by now. <laughs> I'm sure you are getting bombarded every week probably with uh, new supplement companies uh, about sponsorships. Uh, recently, to be honest, I rejected a thousand pounds per month sponsorship from a very popular supplement company. But the main reason I rejected uh, this sponsorship is because, as Mario said, I don't want anyone to tell me exactly what to do or what to share to my audience. And I don't want to sell people supplements for example that they don't work i don't want to make my social media channels a, a sellout so that's the main reason I, I don't have sponsors and as you know guys i used to have a sponsor before which uh, it was a good experience i had some good experiences but most of them are bad experiences and i will say that from the day that i terminated my sponsorship my my content my social media blew up because now people they know that i'm more genuine more authentic to them mm -hmm. so that's one of the main yeah i mean i 100 percent agree with you and and you as a creator it's it's kind of our duty to be unbiased because in this world that we're living in there's so much marketing being uh, blasted at you every single day there's so many ads so many um irresistible offers quote unquote and one thing that is really kind of controlling that industry marketing industry where I kind of come from I mean that's kind of my background in the past where I used to do before I switched to uh, full-on fitness to make my passion really my work is that I've realized that influencers and people like let's say who have a large following whether it's online or offline they're the ones that are kind of controlling the industry for not scamming people you know we're the one that are actually responsible okay for calling people out if some supplement company went out of their way and they said, okay, this new HMB supplement is gonna give you 20 pounds of muscle in two weeks. I'm gonna make a video and there's gonna be 100,000 people. They're gonna, uh, they're gonna see the video and I'm gonna call that out as bullshit. I'm gonna tell them, look, where's the science behind that? Where, where's your research? You remember once uh, there was a very popular supplement company. Uh, do we care about mentioning names, by the way? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so there was a, a sponsor athlete from Shreds. I'm sure you know Shreds. And basically she posted on her Instagram that if you take this fat burner, it's going to transform the fat to muscle. And I was like, what the fuck? And yeah. That's yeah, these I, kinds I of things. I, I don't like, you know, the, those advertising with supplements because people, they believe, actually, they see us, we have great physiques. They see us advertising this supplement and for example, they think that, okay, this guy is taking this protein powder. If I take this protein powder, I will become like him. Yeah, exactly. But I, honestly, I got tired of people asking me what supplement should I take to build an amazing physique. And, and the point, the whole point of uh, fitness is all about nutrition and training. If you know the main principles of nutrition, if you know the main principles of training, you don't require any supplements. Uh, what's your view on supplements? Do you recommend them? Do you recommend them to your clients, to your audience? Yeah. What's your main view on this? How do you uh, take out supplements, for example? Because sometimes I show supplements on my channel right now, mm -hmm. but I tell to my audience that it's not going to do anything. I mean, it's just 5% of the procedure because I need to supplement my diet with 
this protein, for example? What's Absolutely. Your, what's your view on this? Very, very similar view as yours. Essentially, what a supplement is, is a cherry on top of whatever else you're currently setting up. It is a supplement. I mean, this, this name, it says that it's simply adding on yeah. to the diet if something is missing a little bit. It's not the main uh, ingredient for your diet. It's not what your diet is supposed to be made out of. I mean, we know... Uh, what a supplement company, let's say a quick example, you mentioned protein supplements. I mean, they can write on the top of protein, it builds muscle, but actually it builds muscle only if you're adding on and if you're kind of uh, missing some protein from your diet, right? Then it builds muscle. Similarly, if you take a zinc supplement, someone can claim, well, zinc will help you do this and this, but that's only if you're actually deprived of zinc from your regular diet. Meaning that if you're getting enough protein and zinc in these two examples from your diet, from whole healthy foods, there's really no need for supplementation. I mean, supplementation will be a waste of money in most cases. Additional on top of whatever you're currently taking, that is enough. And in general, the way you want to look at nutrition, nutrition is permissive. Once you have enough nutrients of all these kinds of uh, macro and micronutrients that you have in your diet, that you have your diet set up, after that, you have just the permission and adding on top of that won't really do much and can actually be harmful. So mega dosing, uh, vitamin supplements, mega dosing, pretty much anything can have certain negative com consequences that people don't really uh, are aware of. I mean, I don't mean dangerous for your health. In a lot of cases, there are none. But let's say you have a protein goal of 160 grams of protein a day. And all of a sudden, now you start eating 250 because you're taking three scoops of whey protein or you're drinking some protein. Now, all of a sudden, you will either start gaining weight or you will stop losing fat, let's say if you were in a caloric deficit because you have this extra intake coming in. Or if you, let's say, want to keep the calories the same, you're going to have less calories for carbs and fats because you spent all of them on protein. So, I mean, think of it as more of like an addition if you're traveling. I mean, protein supplementation can be very useful. I tend to... Uh, consume sometimes like a protein bar you know if i'm on an event or I something to like take that take a lot of supplements when i was in the army and i didn't have time to yeah. cook so supplements in in this scenario it, it, it's required especially if you don't have time to to eat food but i honestly i like the the view that you have on, on this thing so my last question to you is if you had to choose one supplement just one supplement what would it be i don't know got it Got it. Well, that's a really, really tricky question. If I had to pick one supplement for myself, for myself personally, that would be vitamin D. Very simple reason. Because if I'm on a... We're getting too much vitamin D. Exactly. Right now we are. But if I'm, let's say, in a winter situation and I'm immersed in doing a lot of work and let's say there's no sun outside and I do have to spend a lot of time indoors, that's kind of the only thing that I would be missing because everything else I can kind of get from the diet. And the sun is the only thing that I sometimes am missing because if I travel and I switch a time zone, I don't have a chance to really get enough sun for like a short period of time. But yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, really not much more than that. <laughs> I will choose creatine to be honest. Creatine for me, it's the only supplement that, that works. It's the yeah. only supplement that I actually take it and I feel strength. I feel that I, I'm doing some progress on my workouts and everything. Mm -hmm. So that would be my take on it. Yeah, this. creatine works for sure, yeah. For Mario, most people. Um, I've seen that you released a new program, which is free at the yeah. moment. Yeah. So we're going to put a link about uh, Mario's program. Uh, what is it about? Yeah, the program that I released and I it's made free, it yep. free. Yeah, exactly. 100% free. It's going to stay free forever. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to marketing scam you and say, oh, it's going to be free for the next seven days. So you better get it. No, it's going to be free. It is out there. It's for intermediate lifters that are, let's say, go want to go beyond the newbie gains phase and actually start making gains when they hit those first plateaus. It is an intermediate workout. It has a lot of information in there. It's a PDF. Uh, we could probably put the link down there, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, you guys can check it out. Yeah, you guys can check it out. Uh, make some good gains with that. And yeah. Awesome. That's it. So I'm also going to put a link to my ebook, which uh, you are going to learn the main principles of nutrition, the main principles of a training program. We are also going to have Mario Tomic uh, workout program at the description below. I'm also going to have his channel. Make sure you follow him. His content is absolutely <laughs> amazing. It's not just about fitness. He's also doing a lot of stuff about, about personal development. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know how to pronounce it. So we're going to see you again in the next video. Thank yeah. you so much. Cheers, man. Thanks for having me.
Seal is the magic thing I'm going to use from Tesco. I'm going to use almond milk this time. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of Greek yogurt, honey, and I'm also going to use one scoop of protein and creatine. By the way, it doesn't matter what time you're going to take creatine. Uh, I just like, personally, I like it to take it for post-workout. So I'm going to use my blender.